Lock. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. Shoot! You got it. With no skeleton inside your hands Got no home address I come and go as you come in. Hello, virtual pilots. So I wanted to start this new series because I fell in love with this module, which is the F4 Phantom by Hitler in DCS. And it's, it's an extremely good-looking plane. It's very capable. It has, it has a problem. It's a very hard plane to handle, hard, very hard plane to use actually. In this first video I want to focus on BVR fights. And in 70s and 80s server, this plane can be very strong, if you know how to use it. But how not to get to the merge? That's the problem. Well, you need to know how to use the radar. You need to get the locks. If you cannot get the locks, you need to know when to escape. So we are focusing on radar missiles this time. And you see we have two lines. These two lines are dynamic and they, they represent max range and max range one. The furthest one is max range. Me is the farthest that your missile, the Sparrow missile can travel at your given altitude, your given uh, airspeed, whatever, and the given bandit. And the second line, max range 1, if that line is at the enemy or above, that means that the missile is gonna hit him, even if he does a 9G pull towards cold aspect. So that's more or less the minimum about range. Then you have this dot and the circle, the dot, if you center it on the circle, means that you have a collision course, which is the fastest way to go to the target. And the circle, as you see that getting bigger, is the maximum allowable steering range for your missile. And you see now we got the minimum abort zone, etc. But uh, what if you cannot pick up the radar on the target because there, are, there is a lot of radar clutter? Well, there's ball sight mode. I'm not talking about the ACM ball sight mode, which is this one at five nautical miles, where you can start the auto acquisition mode. No, I'm talking about the proper ball sight mode. You can enter it through the just the menu with ball sight, enter ball sight. And if we put the peeper right on the enemy, you have to have more or less visual contact to see. You see it appears there and you can initiate a lock on it and it's usually way better than scanning if you are over ground so this is the first thing to know the second thing to know is the RWR so we need to learn to use the RWR the RWR in the, in the Phantom is very good for ground attack for SAM, evasion etc but we uh, when we start talking about airplanes, it technically sucks. Will not tell you specifically when you're being locked on by somebody and when somebody's launching at you. But actually, there are cues that let you know when you are being locked by somebody. Because the radar can discern different radar modes if if the plane is even if the plane is pulse Doppler. Uh, which are the planes that you have to worry about in a Fox 1 fight. I don't know if you notice know when you get an enemy and in the RWR it does some beeping. That beeping is not meaningless. The three beeps means it's a new guy and the kind of beeps uh, are associated with a kind of radar. There is a website online which I can show you And you're gonna hear now, when the enemy Hornet will get close enough to us, it will em emit a new beep, because it will be like it vanished 
from the RWR and a new one, you see? A new one appeared and a new different radar appeared. That different radar is the single target track of the Hornet. That means the Hornet is single tracking us and is probably preparing to shoot. And he shot. And here's the second thing I want to talk to you about. You need to learn how to use the plane because you have to look outside. You see, we, we didn't have any notification for the incoming Sparrow and it's gonna kill us. Pay attention to the noises. You hear? This one is the Hornet. And it's also getting closer to the center, which means it's a high priority target, high strength, pretty close to us. When the noise is playing, the contact will have the diamond, uh, the diamond around it, and that will tell you that's the guy I'm sounding on. I if you are focusing on this guy right here, like if we are engaging this guy, and you hear a new sound and you see the diamond is still on this guy, that means that guy is targeting us. And how is that helpful? If he got an STT lock on you, you either need to figure out something fast to lock him, or you need to ditch, defend and go back. Let's try to put all of these to use. Let's fence in the plane. So radar missile, master arm on. There's the Hornet. 12,000 feet, more or less our altitude. 15 arrow, scan angels 10 to 20, okay. there he is, I spotted him, war sight, we'll put the peeper on him, let's try Got to lock him, locked, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, it was like a clean lock, four and he still didn't shoot. lock us, uh, there are a little bit of artifacts going on, Doesn't right, look like a good lock. Back to standard scan. Board sight. Okay. Roger that. Locking him again. Locked. That's 1, a good 000, lock. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, Fox 1,004. One. And I can two. see he also foxed one. Us. And we crank it to the side. I think he dropped his missile to defend. We still have a good lock. And we splashed him. If you don't lock the bandit, he's just gonna push closer and closer to you, up to the right up to the minimum abort range, and he's gonna shoot you down uh, with a with an undefeatable sparrow. Let me show you just another trick to put this jet just another step above all the others. So you notice that when you are on a ball side lock, you have to double press the action button. And Jester goes back to scanning, so you have to say to him ball side again, etc. And that takes a lot of time. Uh, well, there is a much faster way, and Jester doesn't mind. He will not count it for you, but he will not interfere with your commands. You have to... Go to your control page and you have to uh, uh, to bind uh, your antenna hand control trigger, half action and the full action, uh, either with a button or with a, or with a two stage trigger. I'm using the trigger on my joystick and with the half action, uh, the computer of the F4 will start to increase the gain to lock the target and by pressing full action you will lock the strobe that the computer is looking at and by pressing half action again you will go back to ball sight so you can lock and unlock if your lock is not satisfactory and let me show you how this works let's go to ball sight meanwhile Roger. Find the guy. Oh, 
Oh, there he is. You see, if I press half action, you see how the gain increases? And I can see the contact. Just try to lock him, full action. And he's locked. I don't like the lock. Half action, I'm back to scanning. Half action. You see, so I can move my, my plane, I can see the radar response real time. Full action again, it's, he's locked. He also locked me, his sound, you remember? Fox 1. He also shot at us. Let's try a crank. And I think he, it worked, he went defensive. We still have a good lock, and we splashed him. Nice. We have a half press, and I'm back to ball sight. Double click the context right, button, and I'm back to scanning. So yeah, guys, I think that's it for this video. Put this to practice, download the practice mission, do your own practice mission, and uh, make sure this plane is played at its fullest. Thank you. Lock, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, shoot, you got it. Back to standard scan pattern. Um, nailed, uh, 7 o'clock. Five miles forward. Okay, man, five in the sky. 